Peace. Peace. What's up, Moors? It's Moors in America. We coming live. We got the brother, Frank Burrell. You might know him online as Morpheus. Mental Magic. The brother has an online school. You know what I'm saying? He's got a lot going on. I heard the brother spit. And um, one of the main reasons I wanted to get at him, because I can relate, because the brother has a family just like me. And they've been through all the different schools of thoughts, you know, all the different philosophies out there. Same as us. You know what I'm saying? And I like because you, when you hear the brother speak, he's not just regurgitating, you know, what you hear others pe other people say or, you know, something that he read in a book or something. The brother's pulling the stuff out of the DNA. You know what I'm saying? That stuff they call junk DNA. He's pulling that stuff out. You know, we know it's not really junk DNA, but he's pulling the stuff out. And, you know, it's it's authentic and it's real. And, you you know, if you're on the frequency, you can vibe with it because it hits you in the soul. You know what I'm saying? So the brother's speaking real truth and, you know, he's he's on it. And that's what we do. We link and connect with like minds. And, um, you know, that's the main reason the brother's on. I do want to give honors first and foremost to the prophet Noble Drew Ali. Um, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't even know about this just to be real with you, you know. And um, also to the to the forerunner, Marcus Mosiah Garvey. And of course, I want to give honors to you, everybody watching this, all y'all for sharing, liking it, and definitely for sharing it, man, getting it out there, spreading it, and subscribing, and letting your family and friends know, because like we're not just conscious online. We're not just moors online. I was just in, um, not getting off the subject, I was just in uh, Sam's Club today with this on. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we're not just doing this for the internet. It's not just some persona. We're real people, really raising our families, hustling, you know, doing business, doing it, building for real, for real out here. We're not on the scams or any of that mess. We're really doing it. And that's what we do right now. That's what you guys are about to witness, linking with other like minds, other conscious gods. You know what I'm saying? So with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to the brother Frank Burrell. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Make sure you share this. If you're watching it, share it. Uh, peace. Go ahead. I appreciate that. Beautiful, beautiful intro. Uh, ever since I met you, like I said, it's, 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 it's never made me have to question nothing, right? And, you know, that's very important to me. When it comes to questions, because like you mentioned, you know, we all been through schools of thought. You get what I'm saying? That's that's kind of an ancient thing that I start realizing that we actually used to do. You get what I'm saying? So I start noticing that the times are kind of no different now than they used to be, because some people stay back in those schools of thought and some people graduated just like when we all went to school. Right. right. Some people stayed in school, kept flunking. Right. Some people graduated, went on. Some just dropped out. Exactly. And I started I started noticing the same thing. Like even once we left school, we never left school. Literally, you know, even when we look at the way like the Internet is, social media, Facebook, you got the popular tables. You got the tables where nobody's sitting at but that one person and they're just depressed and they're just posting how depressed they are yeah. and how stressed they are, you know, and everyone's just watching, but no one's helping. Uh -huh. Right. When I was in school, I would have been one of them people being popular to also sit at that table with that one person. Just because I know they're going through something, you get what I'm saying? Right. And I start noticing that if you lead the wave and just kind of step outside the box you already know your friends are talking right mm -hmm. you already know the people that claim they love you already talking not all are talking bad not all are talking good yeah. and i started to notice that and they also talk with you so you already know what they're going to have coming so to speak uh -huh. the main thing i learned is that sometimes when you sit at the table with that one person that's so depressed so stressed so hurt they'll open up to you but the people that you've been around the whole time will never tell you nothing about themselves, right? But they're your buddies, your besties, your this, y'all always are. And I started noticing that the person that's sitting at that table alone will love you harder than that whole group of people who think they popular. 
Then a whole group of people who think they smart. Then a whole, I started noticing that we was kind of hypnotized. Like I just, like I played football, of course, growing up. Like a lot of us did. Some form of sport. We actually grew up playing football long ago. This is nothing new. Yeah. I started realizing it ain't nothing new, but just the way that the buildings look, I promise you. Uh -huh. And even them look, uh, look familiar. You know, these are all reminders in a way of something that led me to where I ended up at and something that led me to this point. So I learned to look at Facebook the same way, uh -huh. you know, not to go after the popular ones, but to go after the ones that nobody's paying attention to, because those are usually some of the most dangerous people. Uh -huh. Because I don't know how the hell I got popular because you get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I'm not trying sure. to be. I don't I don't uh -huh. like attention. You know, anybody that actually knows the real me, I'm quiet, uh -huh. I'm cool, yeah. I'm chill, I'm very, but that's the exact polarity, you know, that I found my other side of me because, you know, when the camera or the pressure's on, whether football, live, yeah. college, whatever, I want to be able to see who's the smartest with nobody else's books. Yeah. I want to be able to see who's the toughest with nobody else's words, right? I want to see who's the strongest with nobody else's backing, like you and I, so to speak. I started to, I learned that through facing myself. You know, I see a lot of people battling others, right? Going at others the same way, you know? And when a fight break out at school, everybody stop and watch. Just like when a fight break out on Facebook, mm -hmm. everybody stop and watch. A fight break out on Instagram, everybody stop and watch. A fight break out on youth. I start noticing, like, it's... This ain't got nothing to do with what we like. Everything that you think is real is really a distraction. And all of that stuff you think is fake is some of the most realest stuff in the world. I started learning to just go the other way. If yeah. everybody in that way, damn it, because everybody say they're going to go the other way. But I never see them actually go the other way because it is real on that other, the real other side. You get what I'm saying? It's real. Yeah. Like there's, there's one side of you here, of course. You got one body. I start learning higher things from beings that wasn't here. I felt like if people talk to spirits, of course, uh -huh. and you can invoke demons, I'm clearly seeing it go on. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, why, why would not be able to just sit myself and invoke this? You know, do I actually have to have somebody there with me? Like, who is this inside of me talking? Uh -huh. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I started, I, I had those questions early on. And what happened was during a football game, I was about 12 years old. I got my bell rung so hard. I used to, I used, I, I wanted to see what this body was made of. You get what I'm yeah. saying? I used to play outside of it. So I used to ram people head first. You know, they always tell you don't do that. I didn't know why yeah. until I was 12. And then it hit me like I was physically hitting somebody, but something finally hit me and it wasn't the other person uh -huh. i'm laying on the ground hurt i open my eyes i don't see this world at all no more uh -huh. but i still hear the people on the football field i remember that i was just on the football field so my mind is understanding where i'm at uh -huh. but it's all kinds of little like it's like it's like shattered paint on a on a piece of paper just spinning in my mind it was so dizzy that it made me have to throw up so I closed my eyes so it wouldn't come out. You get uh -huh. what I'm saying? And I'm just sitting there questioning. And nobody, I, I didn't question nobody on the outside of me because I felt like these trainers not going to have the answer for what the hell is going on right now. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. what is going on right now? Like, something is happening, right? I can't feel my body right now, but I know I have it. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I can't see this world right. What's up? It. I was just going to say, a lot of people... They experience stuff like that and they speak on it and especially like when they're younger and they don't like have, you know, the, the vocabulary. To hey, process, that's you know, all that's missing is the language. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's all that's our children. All of our children are going through this right now. It's kind of uh -huh. like I got I got put back in my place of where a child is. You know, the creator allows you. I, I start learning the process. Right. We might not be down in Mexico no more, but remember, we built pyramids, mounds, and all of that everywhere. So even though we wasn't down in Mexico, so to speak, that doesn't mean that we didn't learn everywhere that we went. 
So I started learning on the fly, so to speak. Instead of me trusting in what anybody's saying, I learned to really listen to people. So I learned to shut myself up. You know, I started learning which part is really me because some people really assume that the body is them. So they believe if their physical words are real, then their spiritual words are real. I started learning that we had more bodies than we thought. So when I started listening to certain people talk, I was shutting myself up because I wasn't that positive back then. If I put it like this, if you were ugly, even if I didn't say it out my mouth, that didn't mean I wasn't thinking it. We think that that being is not important. That's thinking someone's ugly. So you might say you're pretty and build a good reputation with someone physically, but you're actually manipulating them and using magic and witchcraft and sorcery. Little do you know, it's just unskilled. You get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. it's, it's very unskilled, but somehow we remember these magical things we used. I started waking up to a lot of things. I ain't going to say too much about certain things now because it is a buildup. I already know certain people that never heard me before. They're like, what the f is this dude talking about? But I'm talking about my life, right? They need to put themselves in my heart. I ain't even going to say my shoes. Can you help what you had to experience growing up? No. So when you choose to come out and tell your testimony, don't get mad when somebody start judging you because they can't see it happening or it didn't happen to them. That's what makes us unique. Uh -huh. The fact that something happened for me that happened for nobody else. That's the whole point of it. Uh -huh. And I know that the same thing goes for everybody else. So, I mean, truth be told, man, I, I, I just learned. I learned how to all of these spiritual things I'm seeing people do now that the Internet is out. I was doing at 9, 10, 11, 12 years old. You get what I'm saying? I realized it was a choice. I didn't feel like I had to wait till I became 21 to act like an adult. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I have my choice. Like I ain't there's no whole day where I'm acting like an adult, nor is there no whole day where I'm acting like a child. Throughout uh -huh. the day, you're gonna get different versions of me. Yeah. Different versions. You're never gonna get no whole human or 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 person. And that's why I start learning, okay, who is this shifting me? Right? What is this shifting? And I started learning certain things, like for example, reading books. Like I started, instead of me trying to learn things and look for things, I learned that something was looking for me. So I learned to stop running from these things like, like, like your feelings, for example, right? Mm -hmm. If someone tells you I love you and you don't really love them, you're going to feel a rush. Because uh -huh. now you got to think about what to say. <laughs> you, you, you run it. You see what I'm saying? You running away from something, but your physical body never moved. But something just shifted and I start talking to certain people. Mind you, I didn't know why I was getting kicked out of a lot of schools. I got shipped to a lot of schools and I always played on the football team. So I talked to thousands of people long before the Internet ever came out. Word. I got to know thousands of brothers long before the Internet came out. I got to see how they was one person around their family, their girlfriend. But in the locker room. Oh, they some dogs like uh -huh. what? and the crazy <laughs> thing is like I got dog in me, too, but I yeah. know how to tame my dog. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't just let my pit bull loose so it can bite a child, an innocent child. <laughs> yeah. But I let my pit bull loose. If you really if you come around me and you got negative energy, just like a dog can sense it. Uh -huh. I learn how to tap into those senses and become that basically the simplest way to put it. So yeah. it's like a pit bull being able to have a conversation with you right now. That's it. Yeah. You get to see what it's really thinking at that moment and why it felt that wave and that vibration. And I learned how not to just use this stuff, but yeah. to be this stuff. So you got to know, I was on Facebook just chilling. You know, me and my wife had a normal life. I was afraid to even open her up to it because I was going through it for so long. I, You know, this is my mastery. This Word. is what I, this is my expertise. Like, and I didn't even know it until I experienced the field, as they say, uh -huh. you know, I woke up to the fact that, OK, slavery still kind of going on, but it's, it's never like what people think it is. It's always going to be something thrown in. But I start noticing it's still the field minds. I ain't going to say niggas or none of that minds. Uh -huh. You can only enslave a mind. I learned that it's the field minds and it's the house minds. Yeah. Simple.
I started seeing that, okay, some of these people are only comfortable when they in the house. Like, for example, what's a house? If you just only believe in the Bible, you're not going to be comfortable outside of speaking about anything outside the Bible. Yeah. You're going to only want to for everyone to bend and break to your will, <laughs> literally, Yeah, which is your mind. And this is how we enslave and entrap each other. I felt like if whatever I get into stops me from getting into something else, it's not for me. If whatever I'm getting to has an end date, I ain't starting shit with it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not. I, what, what's the point of me starting with it? So I, I dabbled with a lot of these things and people didn't understand that I was only seeking for the help that we all needed. I don't need help. I'm good. You get what I'm saying? Like, I know a lot more than people think. And I only reveal certain things to certain people because my life is valuable to me. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's not for them, because I tried to open up, for example, I learned early. Like I said, long before this Internet stuff was popping, I was experiencing all of this. So when I'm seeing everybody talking about open your third eye, here I am like, what the hell is a third eye? Right. I'm looking with my eye. Yeah. Right. I already know about it. I'm using all of it. But they put in, I start noticing they took all of our magic and science and put different words on it. And uh -huh. that's where the confusion is. The spells. That's where the, so I start breaking yeah. the spells and that's how I got led into even finding out I was a more. I was reversing the words. My mind was showing me what it originally was. Uh -huh. And after so many words, I couldn't deny it any more. Yeah. It was just too obvious. So I came out and, and came across a lot of that. That's when I ran into the Moorish Science Temple of America movement and start learning about that. You get what I'm saying? I wanted to see how the family was doing. Yeah. Just like when I woke up through a Hebrew phase. Yes, we had that in our blood too. Uh -huh. We got all this in our blood. Look, put it like this. When it comes to spirit, even if you want to say we wasn't black people, just the fact that some of our ancestors once believed it, we now got black people in our blood. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Just because some good people did fall for it, we got to now go down and uplift them because they back and they still sleep and people not really seeing what's going on. You know, yeah. I didn't know what like before I knew anything about secret societies. I didn't even know I was being recruited. You get what I'm saying? The same way I was recruited through everything else. When everybody found out I had knowledge, everybody wanted me to just be in their camp. They click, they this, they school, they, and I'm sitting there trying to build my own thing. And yeah. I still had time and found time to help all of them build and make sure that I, I guarantee damn near everybody got at least one member for mental magic in their circle right now. Uh -huh. It's not the same for us though. We waiting for fresh souls. You see, we, do, we just a portal to help people through. I don't want to control you. Yeah. But what I what I learned is instead of selling my soul, I just became it. Mm -hmm. Literally, you know, like even though I didn't know who I was, I started noticing somebody else knew who I was, though. You know, other people knew who I was. So I yeah. felt offended that other people would know who I am. But you don't even want to tell me nothing. Like, what do you know? You yeah. get what I'm saying? We are curious about ourselves. I never yeah. lost the curiosity. I never yeah. killed that part of me. Literally. So I start talking to my, I start trusting my football coaches, you know, uh -huh. they met thousands of people, uh, ended up going to a nice big time school of Southern Illinois University. That's a very decent college. You uh -huh. get what I'm saying? And I decided to open up to the coaches, uh -huh. of course. When I say that's when I found out how real it was. Because I can never open up to my friends about it. As soon as I start trying to talk about it, you know, they because they know only one side of me. Yeah. They know the silly me. You know, they know they either know the silly me or the rowdy me because we went to clubs. I ain't talking about that right now. Yeah. But you get my point. They only know them sides. So it's kind of like watching a, a, a hood movie where you got the dude who used to be gangster now turned Muslim <laughs> or now turned yeah. Christian or something. Yeah. They looking at it like that, like, get that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, get that out of here, man. It's, and it's like, that don't mean it wasn't always in me. I was just lost for a point in time. That's all. Yeah. And I didn't understand what was going on. So I took my anger out on other people. People got to understand. I started playing football when I was seven. I started uh -huh. fighting. I had my first fight from my friends at eight. I got jumped by my own friends. You see what I'm saying? So this type of stuff has been happening. My own friends walked me to the backyard, so to speak. So I'm not, I'm not prone to, to any of these type of things. So I started understanding, okay, 
I have to defend myself in some form of fashion. Nothing physical. You can you can't just go around just trying to trust people nor not trusting people. Uh-huh. I started learning how to just literally love you. Forget trusting you. Forget any of that. Eliminating all of that out. Let me just love you and let me just put something by trusting in you. So I, I decided to trust in some of my coaches. They love the way I played. They boosted me up. You know, I, I still got state records still on ESPN, all that type of stuff, records and all of that. I, I left that alone. People think I got hurt and, and, and couldn't play anymore. What they don't know was there was some secretive things that happened that I just choose not to speak on that I just know. Like, it was either this or that, and I just chose that instead of this, yeah. so to speak. You get what I'm saying? And for that choice, I ended up on a hospital bed. Because they knew something by the way I spoke. I might have looked like some of the other players, but the way I spoke. Mind you, we built mounds in Illinois also. So something led me there. And I look just like these statues. So these beings that know history know uh-huh. when they look at his story. Hell yeah. Because they all question, why are you so good? Because I didn't never lift weights. I didn't, I just, I wanted to always go to, I wanted to believe in my natural talents. Natural. Yeah. I don't. I don't need all. I used to test myself to see how much I can lift. Yeah. But you ain't finna catch me. And you you got to realize that caused problems on every team I ever been on. Every team. Because once I, you know, slack off and, man, I ain't got to do all that. And they still going to play me. Because what you got to be stupid not to play me because you know I'm ready. Uh-huh. You know I'm ready. Every game, I'm going to give you everything. So yeah, there was always, I always caused division. Even uh-huh. though I was just trying to bring unity. Believe it or not, for some reason, I always seem to cause it. And I noticed nature do the same thing. So I was I was noticing I was being aligned to something. So I told them just a few things. They questioned me about doing certain things. And I basically denied. Uh Now, I was a 17 year old teenager, right? Two and a half hours away from his family, his friends. I'm up there by myself. You better believe they didn't want me making it out of that room. So it was hard enough to see me just walk out. That practice, I ended up, like I said, in a hospital bed. Through Uh that, they intentionally infected and injected me with something during my surgery. I tore my ACL, MCL, and meniscus. One of the players was paid to hit my knee on purpose that day. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I started noticing how real it was when I lost 30 pounds in seven days and I was near death. Damn. And nobody's around. You know, yeah. it's just me. It's just me. Like, and I didn't even see that they was trying to kill me. So keep in mind, it didn't transpire until months later. I ended up uh, having a pick. Uh-huh. Uh- I had to learn how to walk again. I couldn't walk for about, uh, I think it was like six to seven months. Couldn't walk at all. I had to relearn how to walk. Like, I started learning. You got to realize it was like I was born again in a way. You get what I'm saying? I had to literally learn how to walk again. When you think you have the power of this body, you really don't. You just got the grace. You know, something else is helping you with that. And it's waiting for you to be able to walk on your own. So I had to relearn how to really walk, think, and be on my own. Because that time in that dorm room, and when I finally went to the... uh, you. When I finally went to the specialists, that's when I found out they were intentionally trying to do something because I'm not, it's not that I'm gullible, I'm lovable. I just love you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm not going to assume that you're trying to kill me because if I'm around somebody I'm trying to kill, I'm not going to be around you long. I'm going to do my business. Simple. So I can't see the pain that people go through being around people they really don't like. They really don't vibe. I don't see... You have to be a very fake being to do something like that. Keep that in mind. Because if I'm around you, I got love for you. I don't have to say it at all either. My action is telling you everything you need to know because I'm not around everybody. Simple. I don't deal with everybody. So the trainer had to come with me. Yeah, they, you see how they took the video? Yeah, they took my video. Oh. So YouTube play like Facebook. Ah, <laughs> yeah. That truth. That, that's what that truth do. Yeah, I man. I showed Sarge 
superior. I'm like, damn, did they? I was wondering if I should keep going. I saw it freezing. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm saying. We can hear you, but yeah, that that's crazy. You just faded to black, man. Oh snap! I'll snit it. So y'all see it's real wherever we go. Y'all see it ain't just Facebook. Y'all see it's real wherever we go. <laughs> you see they follow yeah, we, us. We, we ain't gotta look. For hey, whenever things get like too too real, the the feed starts you know jamming up or something. Something is you know it, it's wild, man. It's wild. Yeah, we taking YouTube in the our world. That's all. It's it's gonna mess up a little bit. It's gonna mess up, but that's cool. I'm glad that people can't see me anyway. They don't need to. Some people don't even serve to see me. You get what I'm saying? They don't even serve to see you either, dog. We royal, man. We we finna get we finna get forward to how we was. Uh -huh. To get what people think. Like we here. It is what it is, and 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 this is a part of it. All of us coming out truthfully from what happened to us. All the way back then. This is why I try to help people get back into that reality instead of believing. Oh, I once was this, or I once was that. No, let's really find in what you really was. Because yeah. there is a wave to do it for everybody. And I learned that. And I went through the process myself. I'm not saying I didn't learn from no physical beings. What I'm saying is this information that comes out of me never came from any physical beings. The same way it's going to come out of you. And when I did learn from physical beings, guess what? I learned from every single being I ever seen. What's that? There was not one being I never watched and felt like I couldn't learn something from them. Every being I, I, I started noticing to pay attention when the creator sat my life down and I couldn't walk again. And I had nothing but that computer right there next to me and I had nothing else to do, that's when I started learning the internet. And I was doing the same thing long before anybody ever heard of any other people. Like yeah. now, I was doing this on MySpace. Uh -huh. I had MySpace yeah. popping, shutting MySpace down. Yeah, Still yeah. got it. Look, I took that literal. How you gonna name it MySpace and still think it's yours? This is MySpace now. <laughs> like, I took that literal. Yo, it's we, mine. We, I'm gonna do what I want. We probably were friends on there, man. I bet you we was. I did music. I was a producer, A and R for a lot of labels, all of that, man. Because like we man. live in Memphis, so it's like everybody and their mama, you know, had a record label or something. So it's like we were doing it. We had our crew, and um, yeah, we were on MySpace. We started like kicking the knowledge and everything. Mm -hmm. Like that's yeah. what I'm saying. People don't even know we've been existing. They think we just started. Yeah, we really, yeah. Hell yeah! Thank you. In the in the natural, you had somebody you tried to kick some real knowledge to, and if they shut you down, that might have made you feel like maybe you just need to keep learning more. Yeah, but that really got you started because you needed to just close your mouth and open up your spiritual mouth. Yeah, that's what you needed to do, which is that brain to begin with. And we got many ways of proving that. See, they cut that video off because they know what's coming. Yeah. <laughs> they know what's coming. It's cool. I'm gonna try to go out and come back in on a minute. But let me just finish this part of the story and we can get man. But 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 at the end of the day, for people that don't take my life serious, just, you know, it's 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 I, I don't it's that's not a day that grows by that. I don't think about my legs, my feet, my hands. Like I take some time to look at all of this because I once almost had to lose it. You get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. When I went to that when I went to the doctor's meeting, um. Uh, the antibiologist and all of that, he started checking the medicine they were giving me. And he asked him, why are you giving him this medicine due to the infection that I had that they put in me? It was a staph infection. And he said, uh, that's what we had to prescribe him. He said, this wouldn't cure a baby. Wow. You, what are you doing? Right. And, and they were both playing dumb and I saw him throw up a hand sign. <laughs> oh, man. And then they both just got quiet. And me and my mother is just sitting there looking like, what the hell wow. just happened? Like, what just happened? And I'm just, and it took me, it took it, it took me like a year for it to come to me because I didn't want to assume. I don't like assuming things because that's how you can be wrong. Uh -huh. Give it time. You know, I still gave the benefit of the doubt that no, nah, they ain't try to kill me. None of that. But it hit me later on like, fool, you don't even know what you just lived through. They yeah. gave me an option while I was on that hospital bed. They they said either your leg or your life. Damn. I said, man, look, my life. I want my leg, dog. Fuck, I ain't. You ain't cutting off my leg. I had to yeah. have three surgeries.
injuries in seven days, lost 30 pounds in seven days. That's what took me so long to learn half of my knee is gone, so to speak. I don't know what they did with it. I know they didn't just throw it away. You get what I'm saying? I know because it felt so weird. Like, what else did you go in and take? What else did you go in and see? What were you doing while you were in there? Like, like, and you got to remember, man, when, when they put you up under that needle, like most people get surgery voluntarily. Yeah. That's how I, some got to be mentally wrong. If you voluntarily want to like, that's nothing to play with. You get what I'm saying? I had to have three every time. Like, and I, I booty or something. Yeah, man. It's like you asking to die like that. That's what death feel like. So it felt like I had three deaths. I ain't even going to say feel like it was three deaths. There were three times I was gone and woke back up again. And literally my memory had to come back to me through time. I did not remember anything waking up. Like, I don't know what they was putting in me, but I just know that someone else put something in me long before anybody else ever went inside me to ever take anything out. So we was all good, man. But that's real. That. You know, so that's that's why I watch, you know, and, and, and I'm the way I am. And I am very protective of those beings who have nobody because I was once one of those dudes that looked popular. But know for a fact, all I had was me. People will act like they for you, but they using you and they using your energy and they using and, and the same thing still going on to this day. But it's cool because that's what makes us who we are and strong, because it never just started in this generation. Uh huh. Started seeing the spirituality in it. I I started learning to love it even more. I don't like it when it happens, but I love it because I know when it happens, I know there's somebody thinking about me and they got some coming. Because the last time this happened, I remember what happened afterwards. The last time it happened, I remember. Oh, so I see. I see. All pressure is not bad. And yeah. when someone puts pressure on you, it's time for you to put pressure on someone else. Definitely. So let me go out this video and see if I can come back in and the video will be here so we can just we can get into some questions if you got any. And, and, and then I'll just get into some of the teachings. And like I said, we got something for all of our brothers and sisters, not just the Moors. We have something to offer all of our brothers and sisters, the ones that still Hebrew, the ones that's black, the ones that's Christian, the ones that's spiritual beings. And I am not the body at all. The ones that I am that I, I don't care what level you on. We in the same house, big baby, and I'm ready to party. We can go to any flow. I'm going to show you some of my flows. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to be back. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So definitely, man, if anybody in the chat has anything to say, go ahead and send some questions through. I feel that, though, you know, like being on my space, you know, I don't know if um, Frank knows this, but like like with um, me and my wife used to be on there just sharing all the knowledge, all the things that we were coming across, you know, just sharing it with people, building with like minds. We uh, wound up moving out the country, moving to Brazil. You know, just on some, we need to get out of here. We need to get out, you know what I'm saying? And experience life, you know, somewhere else. Wound up going to Brazil and like we started putting the videos out, just documenting it for other people, you know, and like helping to, you know, change the consciousness or uh, uplift people. You know, we just shared our experience with other people and you know what I'm saying? So, like, I mean, I feel where he's coming from. We've been, you know, doing it since then, we've been on it for a minute. And this like this journey is amazing. And then it's incredible to find other like minds too, of course, right? Just going through it. So I feel everything you're saying. It's not spooky or scary to me. If it sounds like that to you, just bear with it. Okay. Because sometimes the the growth, you know, like he was saying, comes from the pressure. You know, you, you don't want to run away from you know the things that scare you all the time. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't face that, you can't go to the next level. So definitely, you know, stick around. And yeah, MySpace, that was back in the day. If anybody's been on MySpace since back then, we used to put out videos, Sharif and Sakara Ali, the 144,000, you know, and they would, we were like wilding out. Like we had the kufias on, we had the uh, like bandanas and stuff covering up. And like, I mean, we we're just going in on like all types of stuff. So, um, yeah, <laughs> do you think going through pains and death experiences wake people up to their spirituality? I mean, for a lot of people, that's 
the only way they really can wake up, you know, is through going through like life, you know, altering life, uh, near death experiences, you know, because for some people, they, they don't really think anything outside of just the meat body, just what we have to go through on a daily basis. And what everybody's all bogged down with having to, you know, having to hustle, having to make money. Everybody's got to grind. And so they're stuck in that grind. And then something happens that just boom pulls you out the body, you know, just right then and there. So all that grinding, all this, all these deadlines that you have, all this stuff that you got to do, it just didn't matter. You just got to stop. You know, and then that's when people, some people realize, hey, this isn't all there is to it. You know, you're not just the body. And so, of course, that's an awakening experience, you know, for, for a lot of people. Some people have to go that far. You know, it's cool if you don't, though, you know, I mean, but yeah, through, through that, through that pain, through that growth, you know, I'm well, through the, you know, through the hardships. That's where the growth comes. That's that's where you can really like, you know, when sometimes when you're forced to stop. And to look at things outside the box and this is a box you know and then and most of it is mental a lot of this stuff we will not even realize like you know a lot of times you think you have so many things to do so much stuff that's so important and then boom you get sick or something and none of that stuff matters anymore and everything's still gonna go on without it so you know that's really all i had to say on that <laughs> yeah and then boom right when he was going in the screen went black that was crazy and um we're not limited to any one school of thought you know one religion one view of looking at things we're not limited you know i i don't i can't speak for everyone else but like we've been through all types of schools of thoughts i mean just you know out there because you know we came here to really connect and and realize that we're one that we connected to the creator oh let me send that link back all right uh oh is weed bad see some of y'all in here just straight up on some goofy mess man why 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 do people even waste their time coming in here you know just it's, it's always some people in here either hating or just saying stupid just nonsense and it's like you know you're gonna get blocked you know you're gonna get blocked what's the point and there we go about to put you in timeout. If you say something stupid, you're going in timeout. If you do it again, you're getting kicked out. All right? And that's it. Ain't gonna waste any time addressing that. That's pretty much, and this, this is pretty much how we roll. So for everybody who's new to the channel though, um, hit subscribe if you didn't already. And, um, of course, if you're watching this, make sure you share it. Uh-oh. Let me try this again. So make sure you share it. Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, whatever, whatever else. Share it everywhere. And um also subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Let's Are right, we trying to get Frank back up in here? Islam, Islam, what's up, everybody? What's up? Islam. So, um, while we waiting on Frank, if anybody has any questions, any topics, anything you want to say, anything you want to speak on, go ahead and send them through.
it doesn't even matter what like what what you what what um you know su the subject is it's all good and that's crazy that, like we could do this on a friday right what's everybody else trying to do on friday well not everybody but a lot of people you know they're trying to get high trying to get drunk maybe not now because it's cold outside you know but people trying to do something stupid and i ain't even trying to knock you know going out and all that stuff or watching the game right islam islam and um really that's what this is all about um it's about linking up building with other like minds um some of the stuff that needs to be done is you know got to be done off the internet you know we can't talk and run our mouths about everything that's going on but like you know on the real like positive moves you know building business um family structure things like that this is what's important and that's another reason why um having this brother on today you know it's cool to build with other people that have families that are actually doing it have their families intact man that's so important another brother we're having um we're uh interviewing on sunday a seer the duke of tears it's another brother that you know been watching and following online for a minute because the brother had his family you know what i'm saying and like people need to realize like how important that is like we have to have our families intact you know like you can't just have your children out there being raised by uh the tv being raised by you know whatever they're teaching them in school you know you have to be there in a the household with them all right i need to send an invite they're acting like they don't want them back in here Okay. All right. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, they wouldn't even let me watch it. I was just trying to watch it up until That's I got out, man. All uh, right, you back. What's up, Curtis? I got this from Amazon. I'm going to send you the link. Email me at bay at moresinamerica.com and I'll send you the link. Yeah, what's up, man? Oh, not much. Do you have any questions or anything before I get into this? Um, now somebody just was saying, like, you think that going through pains and death experience wakes people up to their spirituality. You said, do I think going through pain or death experience? That's what somebody just asked in the chat. Well, I mean, when it comes to spirituality, you got to re realize what you're asking. And what you're saying, you know what I mean? First, you got to remember every every word and every letter. The one thing that we stick with and that we uh, teach mostly is hieroglyphics, just like our ancestors. You get what I'm saying? We knew that these were keys, keys. You know, every every map has a key. So you break into that word spirituality and, and a spirit itself has no sides, so to speak. You get what I'm saying? Like this is a form of spirituality. It doesn't just come in the form of books. So when you ask about spirituality, not I mean not just pain and death. Everything can be a part of spirituality. Everything can wake you up. The thing, put it like this: How long does it take us to wake up in the morning? You get what I'm saying? Do it really take you long to wake up, or just a few seconds? Mm -hmm. Just a few seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But for some reason, we think this consciousness movement is about waking up when really it's like either you woke or not. You get <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, it, we, it's a lot of people sleepwalking. Like, how long does it take to wake up? It, it doesn't take that long to wake up. Like the sooner you're just awoke and you, you see that you really can learn from every and I mean any and everything like you never have to leave that phase once you start feeling like you grown and you got it and you know it and you this and you that that's when you left that phase yeah the, even even with what i teach and what i do 
I still don't act like I got it, but I speak for my ancestors that I know got it. You get what I'm saying? So right. some people tend to think I'm speaking about me when I say I, but that's why it's important to learn a person's culture. We might look the same, but I'm not the same. The people that's in our school and went through our programs, they're not the same. We might look the same, be on the same land, might have a very similar past, but you and, and, and you saying the same words vibration wise, just like you can, as they say, law, right? Yeah. See, we're practicing real law. We're just creating our own like we should have been doing. When you speaking in lawful terms, they can say the same word and it means something completely different from what you think it means. Right. Like understand, for example, simply, you know, and how they can get you to basically to agree to a contract, even though you never said the word. I agree. Mm -hmm. The words that you chose to use, they formulated it to only teach it to you. So therefore, you walked around agreeing with all the bull. Yeah. But yet you so conscious to disagree. You know when to disagree, though. You disagree with your mama. You disagree with your daddy. Look at where the problems are, though. We don't uh -huh. have problems with the system and the, the things that's tearing us down. But we got problems with our family. We got yeah. problems with our friends. We got problems with the people that are actually placed here to help us the most. Ain't that ironic? That's why we don't get nowhere. And yeah. I've been done and tired of them problems. I saw I come from a big family, not just physically, but spiritually. I got to see it in the physical and spiritual. So when I see only bits and pieces, it's kind of like dog. You know, after so long, you get tired of eating crumbs. You want a whole cake. Uh -huh. You get what I'm saying? Somebody can't keep giving you their crumbs. You're going to want your whole cake. I want to see us together. That right. don't mean everybody. Because remember, I know that in unity, there is division because unity is one sided. So something has to be divided. So you negative people take your negative ass over there. <laughs> positive people get your positive ass over there you know why because i want power that's the only thing going to get the car moving negative and positive but they have to be separated properly if you got the negative people acting positive and the positive people positive people acting negative we have an imbalance on the earth that's what's throwing everyone off it's not throwing the earth off the earth will throw your ass off before you throw the earth off that's what i learned you still in space, dog. You never people think they know what they know until they walk into someone that knows. Uh huh. And sometimes I choose not to say something. You you can tell who who to open up to possibly and who to give your time to possibly and who to never even waste your time with. Some people are worth the time. Some people are not worth the time. And you'll only find it out through time. Let yeah. time tell. I don't tell myself. Time tells me who to deal with. When somebody show up in front of my face and in my life, I know it's time. For what? Don't try to think. I don't try to, oh, what, what to do? What to See, it's not, that's the problem with programming and books and systems and us learning what to do now. We think there's just one way to do this and one way to do that. And I have to do that the way this person said it. And this is how people tend to get egotistical because they assume they have something you don't. Yeah. They assume that they possess something you don't. They assume that you didn't know this. You didn't just because you know, you know how to be quiet. Because uh -huh. you got other shit to talk about, right? <laughs> they have nothing else to talk about. So, of course, they're going to go into their bag and whip it out. But what if I got a bunch of bags? What if I got all kinds of bags? What if what if I got all kinds of things I can dip into? What if what if some of us knew a, just a lot more than it's not that we don't say it or I don't say it. It's just I need time because it's so much to say. So I got to see who's got time. I can't. This is why I start learning about souls and ghosts. Some people ain't got time to hear that shit. They'll tell you right out their mouth. <laughs> yeah. What soul don't have time? A ghost? One that has no life. Where? You could be breathing and still not living. And you could be living and still not breathing. People don't understand that psychologically. You do not, you are not conscious every day throughout the whole day when you're breathing. You don't think about every breath you take. Uh -huh. yeah. But you naturally breathe, don't you? Where? 
But we think about all this conscious stuff. We think about and we don't see how we getting ran in the circles. And this is why I support anybody that teaches, even all of the ones that diss me. I guarantee majority of their watchers are people that watch us, that support us. Uh -huh. And I would never have them stop that because guess what? I understand that if you're a hateful being, that love is pressure. <laughs> so I understand you actually don't like that. Uh -huh. You don't really like that. You know, some people don't know how to take that love. They lash out at the people that love them, but they real quiet to the people that actually hate them and uh -huh. dislike them in the soul and will never say it. They quiet to them people, but to the people that truly love them, they got so much negativity to say. They got so, that's how I, I just start learning to see things to whereas, for example, when I, when I learned to read books, you know, and I, and I also, uh, about two years ago, we were we did a, a session called Scripture Signs, where I I decoded a lot of the Bible for the family right there. So it's not like we didn't perform our magic in front of everybody, right? It's not like someone can say it's an illusion, like uh three years, three plus years, six hundred plus presentations. That's not a fluke. Word. That's not that's not luck, you know. And never touching on the same thing because we're still finding in more every hour, not even every day. Whenever you paying attention, something can come in. So if ain't nothing coming in, that lets you know you too distracted by something. Now you have to figure out what that is because everybody distracted by something different. But I learned the real trick. I learned how to use magic on myself. So I said, you know what? Everybody has to have a distraction. You can't eliminate that. So I made my distraction something that's actually my traction. So I made my purpose and my focus, what I was supposed to be focused on, my distraction. So even if somebody tried to distract me, I was only focused on my purpose. That's my main distraction to begin with. I'm just, I learned to use alchemy in different ways. I learned to use, I learned to use so many different things to where, like I said, I had to just start creating my own. Cause I did like, after so long, it just doesn't work for you. After so long, it's just, you get, you evolve. You know, we, we're supposed to graduate through these things and the way that you graduate through it is by basically becoming a creator of something. Back then we taught people how to invent. We taught people how to create. This is why there's pyramids all around the world, but they look different in Egypt than they do in America. Well, they look a little different in China than they do in America. But mm -hmm. there's somebody who taught all, when you go through America, there's not just one form. There's not just one kind. When you go through America, you start noticing there's a lengthier, like, you know what I mean? Like, everybody had their own specifics, but when you came over here, there was nothing specific. You can find pyramids in China that look just like the ones over here. You can find pyramids in Egypt that look just like the ones over here. But when you reverse it, it's not the same. It's like we were just getting that stuff over there. And I see how the world got it flipped. And I see how everybody going with what to get them followers, views, and what what will get everybody to already agree because we're all we already kind of been rocked to sleep with this kind of lie a little bit already. So now when right. someone comes with the truth, it's just like the movies. You get what I'm saying? It's not gonna be everybody with the truth, it's gonna be a few people, and they're gonna be the ones that look like they have aluminum foil on their head at night. They're gonna be the ones that look like they sit around and you know what I'm saying, just hum like. Is 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 people just don't understand, man? And like I said, I'm have I, I learned to have fun with it, you know. Instead of me being or believing, I'm you know I'm just in my own little world. We say that and we take that quote and that phrase so for granted. Little do we know, we have we we do have worlds. Some of us do have just little worlds. Some of us have big worlds. Some of us have multiple worlds. Word. And and through this process, I learned how to enter those worlds and come back. And and as I got stronger, I learned how to be in both at the same damn time. Like it took time, but I learned. And now that's mainly what I teach others. But I have to build them up first. It's a process. Mind you, the same things I'm teaching now was the same things we taught then. But back then, it was probably like a 30 year process. We don't have that much time. You get what I'm saying? So, of course, that's why they've been helping me so much, because they know what time we're up against. So they have to put it in a form to where we can move faster, but with the same premises. We can move faster, but with the same advancement. We have all the pieces. The problem is everybody's trying to hold on to their piece of the puzzle instead of coming together and saying, here, here's my piece. Here, here's my piece. Here, 
Here's my piece. We sat here for three plus years giving everyone our piece and woke up over a million plus people. And we don't want to be on the news for it. We don't want every we don't care if I'd rather move in silence because, like I said, I don't want nobody getting hurt. I know I'm a target. I know they watching. I know they listening. I know they 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 was on me long before social media. So I know I've turned down certain things to where you don't you get like put it like this. If you run the world right or if you have the illusion that you run the world and you meet someone that knows that it's just an illusion. <laughs> and they know that you got the world rocked to sleep, but I don't even give a damn, right? We don't even care. Rock them to sleep. We're going to wake up who we wake up and who don't, so be it. That was their purpose. Right. Get them again the next generation or the next one. Whenever they want to, they're going to keep running into us. Simple. We, I know how this go. Simple. So I know it's all about timing. So I'm not tripping. So when they offer you something, how dare you not accept? They can find one of your brothers and sisters easily that'll drop some draws real quick for some change. You know what I'm saying? Word. And think about it. It's so bad now that you got fake secret societies on Facebook. Just somebody page alone can be a secret society. Just a group of people that nobody really knows. They think they popular. They think they something. Right? And they sitting over there doing their own little thing. That Look, and it's the same thing. We got the same things going on and we we complain about what the secret. That's why I learned to just shut up. I stopped talking bad about Christians. I asked for their forgiveness for all the shit that I once taught when I was ignorant. You know, I'm man enough to come back. See, that's how you know I grew and went somewhere. I was man enough to come back when I got back and tell them I apologize. And now I just teach to elevate them. Be uh -huh. whatever you want to be, but don't let that stop you from becoming what you were supposed to be. That's all I'm saying. The same with the Hebrews, same with the Kemet, same. And we got a piece of everything and we have something that I know none of their leaders are showing them. Mm -hmm. That I do not mind. Did not mind. We, we took our own time out. I was working a job and accepting donations only to take care of not just the people in my community, right? And see, I never put this on Facebook because I would never ashamed them. We've yeah. been actually long before I knew about any of this more, any of any of that, we was already doing the work. Uh -huh. it was, it's in our spirit. Yeah. I was working a job just not just to feed my family, but the people that was homeless that worked or, or lived right outside the buildings I worked in. You get what I'm saying? Wow. And we were using the money. We took, we took 60% of the money, of course, and we invested it into the curriculum. Uh -huh. We took the other little percent because, you know, go for me. Got to get their little 20. You know what I'm saying? They got to get their little bread. Uh -huh. you know, we don't, ain't nobody talking about what they do with their stuff, though. We yeah. took the rest and fed the people. And I did as much as I could on the back end. So, man, I'm I'm grateful to see that that how blind this world can be and how we not even trying to be no secret society. But secretly, we help so many people. And yet the world, we kind of just pass right by. And that's what I love. I never wanted attention. I just wanted to help. That comes with the territory when you're really doing that, though. I yeah. never care for praise or anybody honor. I don't want you disrespecting me, but no, I ain't going to force you to honor me. Because yeah. now it's to a point where it's like, okay, were you doing it for that? You see, so I'm thankful when I get it. But that's why certain people get jealous because they have forced somebody to do it and people still won't do it. You get what I'm saying? And people yeah. do not get it. When you the force, you don't have to ask nothing. It's, it's yours. Everything is yours. Like, we, we working so backwards, man. And I start learning that the work that we put in, just keep moving. Keep doing what we're doing. Keep growing. Stay together. Regardless of who leaves, start noticing, okay, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. We're doing what we've always been doing. And have you ever seen a tree that had the same leaves on it the next season and the last Never. It always is going to be certain leaves that grow back that's of the root. Yeah. So even though there are certain people that's been with Mental Magic from like day one since we first ever started, the secret is they're not the same person from who they started as. See, they had a lot of leaves fall off throughout those seasons of the three years. So they look the same on the outside, right. just like when you look at trees. That leaf looked like the last one that was just there the last season. But it's, it's serving this season now. It yeah. serves a whole new purpose and it keeps elevating. We learn to unlock the true secrets of not just nature, 
but super nature, not just super nature, but some stuff I'm not even going to speak on because we have to finally have something to protect ourselves. We now have exactly what all of the beings we're afraid of having even more. Wow. We didn't them. They wanted us. Like I said, when I turned it down, it was like, nigga, who you think you is? I don't <laughs> know to think. I just know. Right. And I know who we are. And we just put in that work. And I'd rather grind and put in that work and build our own than to join any other powerhouse, not realizing I'm already one. I'm a house of power myself, just my bloodline itself. So it's just like if we birth this, we can rebirth this. Mm -hmm. There's a purpose for us being back here and it's not to copy. We were supposed to see what everyone else did because technically everyone else did copy. Some we intentionally taught, we passed it on, yeah. but some did not and were not uh, prepared, nor did we allow them. Because keep in mind, when you get into this magic stuff, the one thing you're going to realize is some people might be an angel at first, you know, and my job is to give you your power. It's not my job to determine what your power is. It's just to help you get to your power. Once somebody reaches their power, Nine times out of 10, a lot of them like to misfire and try it out on you first, ironically. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so what you might think is positive energy could turn into negative. What you might think is an angel can turn into a devil right in front of you. Just right. like you can be with somebody for 10 years. Give them 10 years of your life, your time. <laughs> and then that person change in three seconds. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> what was that? What was that? That's that's not the same being. They might look the same, but that's I. So, I mean, I just stopped playing dumb to that world. And now I play dumb to this dumb world. Now I play dumb to this world where people actually believe because I can memorize blase, blase, blase. That don't mean you ever used your brain. Word. Your brain has memory. That doesn't mean it is memory because there's another side to memory. So you, if you're stuck over there, then you're missing all the shit that creates memory. Word. Because you came into this. You know, this, is, this this reality for a reason. There's something you need you. you to express. Like, where's that voice? Uh, hello. Yeah, you can't just. And somebody's scared, and they what somebody else is saying. That's and like you said, it is pure regurgitation. It's throw up. It's throw up. It's stuff that we fed them long ago. They ate it. They boo booed it out. Of course, you uh -huh. know what I'm saying. They took something else and fed it to somebody else, and now we eating somebody else boo boo, thinking that we're smart. <laughs> Thinking yeah. that we clear. And, and it's just like, I'm not saying it's not, nothing is never the full truth. Only the full truth is the full truth. So nobody can never say they book, their whole book is the full truth, but that don't mean it's not truth in it. Yeah. Because wherever there's truth, there are lies. That's what truth is protecting itself from, the lies surrounding it. There's right. always going to, in order for you to even create a lie, there has to be some truth. In it, that doesn't mean that what a person's saying is true. That means that what they're not saying is actually true. What they're not so if somebody hating on you, that's the lie. What they're not saying, that's the truth. I learned to read the being who created the book versus the book itself. The book is not technically living, but there was a living being that put that in there. So just like we can tap into each other's minds now, and people might. Like, for example, for the people, if you got some people right now in the comments, they feel like this brother crazy. We don't play with magic. He read minds. Let me get out of here. OK, what does Facebook ask you every time you want to post? What's on your what? Uh -huh. So we'll let strangers and ghosts and people we don't know get into our mind all day long and not see nothing wrong. But now they all of a sudden questioning it. You want to know what's funny about that? Uh -huh. That's how I know I got the eye open, though. You, you get my drift? You see how I know how to use these ancient techniques? Uh -huh. I got your eye open. At least your ass woke now. Uh -huh. You know how to look now. You know how to see it now. So that lets me know something you wasn't using before. You're now using. Get used to it. It what? gets funner towards the... I ain't going to tell you. It's going to get fun, though. No. It's going to get fun as you... But we use these same techniques, and we taught a lot of the techniques on Facebook, but I kept a lot of them very sacred. I kept a lot of them very sacred because they're helping me reform it to where we don't copycat them. They don't want us copycat nobody. They want us taking and piecing it together just like chemistry does. You can't use a, a, a 
element that's outside of this world to create some uh -oh. inside of this world. There's already beings that do that. You have to take from the elements here and see what was meant to be created through them because somebody already thought of that. So every time you think of something, you didn't just create the thought, you created the way to get to the vision of something that gave you the thought to begin with. You ain't thinking nothing that ain't never been thought. That's why all these people that think you have to think and, and mind you, what did Noble Drali say? If I could just get you to what again? Think. To what again? Think. Think. Yep. Think. And on top of that, on top of that, you have to look at everything that's being said with that process. He told you that even with everything he taught you, you still got to learn to what again? Love instead of hate. So yep. he clearly was letting you know it's still some things he couldn't. He was busy doing what he did. Yeah. Who's going to show us how to love? I start learning that. We all hurt feeling like our parents. And man, I thank my parents mm -hmm. for the bad, not just the good for the bad. I learned the, I learned that they were when I became a parent myself, I saw it wasn't that easy. Yeah. I saw that I made some mistakes and it's like, oh, it can look like it was intentional. But that don't mean I wasn't tricked just like through the slavery process. They'll make it look like you were weak. No, they were using your magic on you. Yeah. Oh, it's it's magical. Everybody thinks that it's not about magic. That's exactly why they don't never talk about it, too. And that's, that's big. magic. That's just like what you said. You know, the slavery is mental. I mean, it's mental. It was never physical. If, if somebody want to look, if somebody want to be in some handcuffs, nigga, you chose it. Even 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 prison today, still to this day. Secretly, silently, it's voluntary. Mm -hmm. Unless you actually kill, kill somebody, it's voluntary. Unless you actually violate some, it's straight voluntary. And ain't nobody teaching that. And I'm ashamed for the brothers who've been knowing that. And they not out there just giving it away. Giving, because soon as I start learning what I know and had in me, I start yeah. giving it away. Soon as I mastered it, I start giving it away. So yeah. I'm not really one to boast up on the dudes who sit back and let another brother get locked up Eno because they trying to find a way to get paid from what they learned and got from somebody else. They trying to find a way to get paid from what somebody else did versus realizing your brothers and sisters need this right now. There's a lot of people that we could be utilizing in these communities right now, locked up for some traffic stuff, locked up from some stuff that they consented to because Ain't nobody teaching them the way out. We all bragging and acting like we got knowledge. I just start showing my knowledge and keeping my brothers and sisters out of trouble. That's simple. Instead yeah. of talking about the knowledge I got, I actually just showed the knowledge I had. Uh -huh. And it stood through the test of time. And I saw that. And, and the reason why I didn't really read the way I, I, I see everybody reading, so to speak, it wasn't that I couldn't or, or didn't want to. Something told me not to. It wanted to use me for something different. It had me practicing with just one book. I was reading the Bible for the longest. That was the only book I had read up wow. until I was 28. The only book I had ever sat down and read. But the thing is, I can't even honestly take credit for that. I never really read it. Something was reading it to me. And I used to take the time out when it told me to, to go to the verses it told me to go to. And when I was young, I didn't understand. I'm talking about, I used to have these times where I broke down crying, just bawling like, <laughs> So when people see me doing that, that's why I don't mind doing it on Facebook because I know what that is. Uh -huh. You get what I'm saying? Like, I know what we need right now. I uh -huh. know that we need to learn how to love. So if any of my brothers judging me for doing that, they just got themselves in trouble with some higher powers that's looking for just that. Oh, you thought you was cute as, as the ancient phrase grows. Yeah. Laugh now, cry later. I'm crying <laughs> now because I'm going to laugh later. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm crying now because I know I'm gonna laugh later. Like I'm because this hurts me because we got so much talent around, but I see selfishness, jealousness, and I'm not even gonna say we led the way because the creator installed it in us and installed it in us. But what what a lot of people are not saying because when mental magic started, the thing is we can't help that we didn't read books like that you know we were on our own thing we were creating our own books and language i mean you have to separate so therefore you know for a fact you're not copying because you never saw that mm -hmm. and people used to see our videos 
And they used to actually be like, hey, I heard that from a book or I saw that in a movie. So I knew we were on point and on the right track because I know for a fact I never read that nor saw that. So mm -hmm. they're telling you the secrets that I'm growing through and we're growing through. Wow. I started learning like this occult like sh stuff that they hide, that they throw in a movie here and there that they've been using. Uh, we've been using it, too. And I didn't. You see what I'm saying? So it got funner it through that process. DNA, brother. You say what? I say you're pulling it from the DNA. You're pulling it from the... the Thank you. You know what I'm saying? The, the best part about you. Uh-huh. The best part about you. And, and and teaching others how to do that. And that's, that's when it started getting fun to the point where I started seeing everything that was growing to happen. I started noticing, you know, like, the, the way we wake up Christians is not by talking about what Christians do every day. It's not about talking about them going to church anymore. It's not even necessarily about reading the Bible, you know, because we know the Bible. Once we get through it, we can put it aside until we need to go back into that magic. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Pick somebody yeah. else up. I learned to be a better Christian than the Christians. <laughs> so now what you got to say, I'm still not a Christian. I'm a lead by example. And, and the first thing they usually ask was, what God you praise? Who's your God? You get what I'm saying? They make the right. question, your God, like, hey, you want to know my plug? What, <laughs> yours ain't plugging? What's going on? Yours ain't coming through yeah. for you? What's uh -huh. going on? Your shirt ain't working? What's up? You know, they, you know, yeah. look, what's going on? Because I don't never ask nobody who your God. I don't care. Right. I, my job is you. I don't care what you believe in. I don't care what you do. I don't care none of that. You play me, you're going to have problems. Simple. Uh -huh. Simple. Yeah. You can keep it zero with bro, we good forever. I promise you. But uh -huh. if you play, you never will have nothing to worry about unless you're doing something grimy. I would never put no pressure on nobody. But if you do something grimy, they know that pressure is on and they start acting out of character. You get them out of their shell. Uh -huh. And get them to act like they've been acting like inside all along. So mental magic even works for the people that's not in it because we got range like that. We just, it's magic, dog. Like, all you got to do is just come by the video. You don't even have to tap in. People be thinking that they safe because they never click in the video. Yeah. <laughs> it's just funny, dog. People really, it's like people really think they can hide. How can you hide something that's already hidden? All right, so for the people... That you know, people that, that never heard of you don't know what okay. mental magic is. You want to like just give like you know without giving it all away. You just want to like give a basic you know just you know like especially like you just showed the um like hieroglyphics you know like spellings yeah. spelling yeah. spellings a spell right. So you do yeah. something big over there. So let's let the people know what what's going on and where they can find it. Okay, uh, for right now the main two places because we're getting our website built still. We still getting a lot of our videos uh, edited and, and right now we're working with a lot of producers. We're getting a lot of things. You see what I'm saying? We finna, we finna come with a lot of things. So for right now, the main places you can find us is on Facebook. All you gotta do is go on Facebook, look up Mental Magic. If you're interested in enrolling, you send us your phone number and email address. If not, just give us a like. You don't have to give us nothing. Just look at look at exactly what's on the page. We give a simple rundown of the things that we touch over, you know, but in our private courses, we do grow over a lot of things. It is a sacred ancient school, so to speak. So you're going to be going through those techniques that we used to grow through. But we're not going to like I said, I'm not extending it to the point where it's going to take us forever. I'm trying to however long you got, you know, just give me that. However long you got, I'm going to try to do it as fast as you. I'm trying to make it real quick, as quick as whatever. If you're in a rush, okay. If you got time, well, let's let's do that. Uh, besides that, they can email us at mentalmagicomniverse at gmail.com. But, uh, for example, just to show you how far back mental magic goes, this right here is a drawing of what they call the Mayan calendar. Mm-hmm. But these are some of the ancestors that have been speaking to me and I've been communicating with for the past like 20 something years of my life. I have a beautiful relationship with them, just like you would if you took care of somebody for 20 plus years and they took care of you for even longer. You get what I'm saying? So uh, we call it the moral compass, of course. This is what guided me to being a more. This is what unlocked me to recognizing and knowing I was a more. I was not only just drawing this picture, I was drawing the energy from it. Wow. 
and I started decoding this because every time I looked it up, I noticed that people used to just post what they saw on a website and took that as truth of this compass. Mm -hmm. You know, they took it as it's just a calendar. I when I looked it up, I only got the picture. I only got I never went to a website. I don't care what they're saying. I don't know them. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I actually know the people that built this. So I knew that I would have some form of a connection if I took it serious and didn't play with it. Mm -hmm. My life changed after that. It happened around, like I said, about this is might be 2019. This was early 2017 where I really started taking it serious like that. And they really start taking me serious. And that's how I was capable. It wasn't all my energy. That's how I was capable of doing 600 plus presentations and never touching on the same thing up from one hour to four hours long. It was that energy, and, and we still just really getting started. But uh, that today, now being transformed into what they call sacred geometry, <laughs> now being transformed into what they call the Jewish six-point star. Whoever said that was Jewish, though? They said it's the star David. Who is David? I want to know where David at then. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. we, I should be able to talk to David then. If this David star, well, let me go talk to David. I want to know. I, you see, so it's no disrespect to nobody that believes in that. Don't ever get it twisted. Wait. Nor am I ever saying that the being that they consider David didn't exist. You get what I, I don't. I don't play with people's beliefs. I help them see reality. Word. You can have your own beliefs. I, I'm not. I'm not against that. You can have your own beliefs because some people will take my whole truth. As a belief, my truth is so stranger than reality is, or they say the truth is stranger than fiction, so to speak. The thing is, is it is so that that I don't have to even have beliefs. Like, I already know if I tell you certain things, you ain't going to believe it anyway if your spirit ain't right. Simple. You have to be on a certain level to even hear me. You might see my mouth moving. You might hear me talking, but it's going to be like the little Charlie Brown. You're going to hear a few words and think you heard what I said. And, and, and I know you didn't just based on your reaction, because everything I do is to build you up, is to uplift you. So it's not that I'm coming at David, the star of David. It's just that I'm using this symbol and bringing us back together from those that were detached from it. What? Because all this was ours and I can prove how it translates back to all of our stuff. So I learned these certain things. And on top of that, then I started looking on the internet. You see, yeah. then I started looking in books because I wanted to make sure that as I'm doing this, I don't have to worry about copyrights. I don't have to worry about none of that. Cause these are my illustrations. These are my drawings. These are mine. These are things that we created for our children to have to pass down the secrets of the world on a few pieces of paper. Like that's how magical it gets. And we yeah. got more than a few pieces of paper. You get what I'm saying? But I'm saying even if, if instead of us thinking that it's going to take 12 years of school, 30 different books, a hundred different tests, grade after grade after grade, I could take two pieces of paper and show you everything you need to know about this particular world you in. So you know how to protect yourself for the rest of your life. You good, you safe, no need to go get saved. You just saved yourself because yeah. you're thinking now. You just, you good now. Go on and be you. Everyone is because we think that uh, there's not an age limit, right? We, we think that the creator has an age limit to where, listen, It'll take you out because it knows that there's another side where you have no age. So if you're not prepared to do what it is you're supposed to do, you're just gone. Not everyone that gets taken out is gone for a bad cause. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. But I'm saying majority, majority that get taken out are bad. Just like us being born, I'll show you how we use magic duality wise. These are some of the things you learn when you come in there. You learn how to use duality versus just reading what someone said. If we know for a fact that majority of the people that transition physically before old age are usually bad people, so to speak, I'm not even going to say before old age because some of them still, you get what I'm saying? But we know for a fact that majority of the people that come are actually good people that just yeah. got turned alone away somewhere, somewhere alone in their life. Somebody did something to them and they turned. They was never the same since. And when I speak on issues like that, what I tend to do is use certain things like the moon, for example. You know, hold on, let me find this image. 
So what I can show them and teach them is that shifting that took place was a moon-like shifting, right? We start learning the planet and how the planet shifts and why it shifts and when it shifts like our ancestors did. So we spend time the same way they did. So we bond and have that same connection that they once did just by doing what they once did. So I help them see where the shift take place along with them doing it themselves, along with some other things I'm not going to speak of. Cause like I said, I want everybody to be safe, of course, yeah. but it's so many ways as, as some people say, you, you'll never, you'll never solve a problem by throwing dirt on it. That's why I don't have to throw dirt on nothing. If something is dead, it's already dead to me. I don't have to bury it. It's dead. You're not going to catch me throwing dirt over nothing. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Throw clarity over it. It's, it's none of that. Whatever, whatever is here, it's here. If it's alive and you're creating certain things, there's nothing for you to ever have to throw dirt on. We're here to raise the dead, raise certain things that got buried through time, be able to bond and, and, and get that relationship back that we once had, not just with each other, but with our children. See, I know no real revolution is really going to take place on the outside because we got so many unresolved issues with our children in the home. So the creator ain't never finna let us play as adults like we really about to get together, but we at home treating our children like shit, but we posting them on Facebook like we taking care of them. That's true. we got mind control over them. Heard. You get yeah. what I'm saying? And we know, you know, post, everybody be quick. And I'm not speaking on everybody because some people you can see genuinely have a good relationship. Some people you can see genuinely have a good family. You can see it. For example, you're, you and your family, I love that your wife supports what you do. I love that. I love that you, you all do it as a family. You get what I'm saying? Like, I get to see that. I get to see that so I know it's real. My wife supports me. You got a lot of brothers out here who wives don't support them until it's just time to take a pretty picture to get a bunch of likes. You get what I'm that, saying? That right there, though, like if I could pause it right there, that's really um, what you said is really important. Is it's a lot of people out here that are like, you know, whatever teachers, whatever you want to call it, where they like put information out and people's looking at them, and it's like, I mean, nobody's expecting anyone to be perfect, but if you can't right. even reach like your mate, yeah, the other adult who's there with you, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. It really knows you. Ain't even on it. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. I was just like, Thank you. I don't see, I couldn't even listen to, I mean, you can learn from everyone, but I, I can't even like mess with you them. You can't take them serious. Yeah. You can't, you, 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 I, and, and I try to help them, you know, by giving them relationship advice, by telling them what I did to wake my wife up. But some of them just so scared of magic and some of them actually scared of their woman, which is the most Word. magical thing there is. Yeah. She pushed out. Oh, that's magical. Word. That's magical. Uh -huh. Imagine you having to push your whole body out of you. No, <laughs> dog, that's magical. You uh -huh. ain't got to go through that. Period. So I, I started noticing that, and, and people don't realize I only speak on that because I feel they pain. Mm -hmm. You see? Like, like when I'm reading a book, I get to tap into the mind of the being at that particular time. See, right. I'm not reading the book. I'm reading the mind of the being. So even if you wrote something back in the 1700s, you bet not had to been lying because I'm finna haunt the hell out of you. <laughs> I'm finna haunt yeah. the hell. Like, it's not over. You get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It's not. Sometimes there's a real. Unless you put it on blast, you know? That's it. You need that pressure to, to move. when once they, the, the, the way they're moving is corny and people are catching on and mm -hmm. they, they got to step their game up, you know? Mm -hmm. And some people just not going to do right until they feel that, you yeah. know, I'd rather I'd rather you have an, a beautiful relationship off of Facebook. than to have a beautiful relationship on Facebook, but your relationship is a little worse off. See, like me and my wife relationship is a little worse on Facebook because we have people hating on us. We have people that throw us in their mess. We have people that make up lies about us. We have people that accuse us of all kinds of things. And none mm -hmm. of them actually know us. Wow. None of them actually know us. They just know mental magic, but they truly don't know it if they doing all that because they don't realize they only exposing they self. Where? That's what magic does. It brings the real you out. You don't have to do it. That's what I loved about magic. I don't yeah. have to bring you out. There's another side to this world that'll bring you out for you. Just hang around me long enough. Hang around me and that pressure will be put on 
through exactly what we're growing through, and it's gonna be easy to see. And you just all all you gotta do is give everything time, and and it appears. So our relationship is so much stronger because of all the stuff we have to go through on Facebook, because of all the the lies that we. It's kind of like people throwing bombs at you. And you basically got your little fort built up and we just behind our fort, just chilling like it's not bothering us. You know, <laughs> right. if they ever too close, we got them two, 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 you know yeah. what I'm saying? Spiritually. So they're not stupid. They just throwing bombs and right. making it look like it's war just so they can say, oh, we did this. Oh, we did that. They're never going to. We understand how real war and fake war start. We understand that. You right. know what I'm saying? Like I said, our relationship is stronger than more than like you. You would never. Like and, I, and the only reason I stopped really posting family pictures because I used to do that yeah. until I saw certain dudes and ran into certain dudes that will throw your wife into something or throw women that you might as associate with into something. Word. You know what I'm saying? Just to try to get to you. So when I start seeing that, I stopped doing it not because I don't care about my relationship. Well, I, I don't give a damn what people think about my relationship. All you got to do Word. is know us. You know we good. You yeah. know, we good. We've been good. We were good before this. But the thing is, I don't want them ever getting hurt because I know how pictures can be used. I know how videos can. I use magic, dog. So I know. And I don't. And the crazy thing is. I have a I have a like, like I hold myself to a higher degree, like all of our minds have that good side and negative side. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to act like my mind don't have the negative side. What makes me who I am is I have control of that. Yeah. I don't let that get out of hand. So I know that there's a lot of people out there without self-control. There's a lot of people out there that feel like, especially the fact that they think you're not watching or they think you can't see them or they think they're doing something in the dark that's actually really the light. Yeah. They assume yeah. that they can get away with certain things. So I know just if my mind was almost willing to go there if I didn't tame it, just what some other people are willing to possibly do and what they sit and do in their spare time. Word, you get what word. I'm saying? It's a lot. And I also know that it's perverts. I, like, for example, I ain't going to lie. We finna get real. This is why people love us so much. I'm finna tell you, right? Testimony. <laughs> finna, we always give some testimonies as usual, right? We word. are young men, right? Word. Okay. We all experimented. You can't tell me you ain't never came across a picture or a video or something while you was growing up of a beautiful lady naked and, and you all of a sudden start touching yourself, right? <laughs> you start, Something made you like you because you you was too young to have women. You uh -huh. get what I'm saying? It ain't one man that ever walked this earth that ain't never experimented what I'm talking about right now. Period. Yeah. Period. Yeah. So yeah. I and, and I start noticing what made me stop doing that was not because I didn't like it. Every man likes sexual things, period. I start finding other people to touch me instead of myself, of course. That's one of the reasons. But one thing I stopped beforehand is I realized I'm violating this person's soul. If I picture myself having sex with, and I know certain dudes don't have those guidelines inside themselves. They'll act like they do on the outside, right? But mm -hmm. some men are actually rapists on the inside. We think that rapists are just the, you know, because you don't know a rapist until they physically rape somebody. Wait. Well, how many times have they raped somebody before they ever actually rape somebody? The same with a murderer. You don't know a murderer until they murder somebody. Uh huh. So I, 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 I just start learning how to do things in secret. For example, like I said, with the murder, like I don't want to physically murder somebody. I'll get in trouble here. Mm -hmm. But that's just here. <laughs> <laughs> right? So there's other places where this type of stuff is like. It's like basically if you respect school, you say meet me in the street at three o'clock. It's yeah. like I respect this world. It's already enough drama going on. So meet me in your dreams when you go to sleep. Mm -hmm. You know, problem with me type of thing. You know, those worlds exist, too. You know, yeah. and that's that's when you tend to see what a man is really made of, because a lot of men out here tough because of their guns and they this. But if you got a weapon they never knew how to use, yeah. you start seeing whether they really full of it. Or they was just, you know what I'm saying? You start seeing whether they real or not, because you'll start realizing why and, and what really happened when when people start coming to this land, why they actually start killing the what, what you would call today a magician or what you would call back then just a spiritual being. That's all it is, man. I just got yeah. a spirit. Moors took magic to Europe, too, and they brought it from here. 
That's the one thing they like to discredit or not add in or make the not the focal point. But that's what created everything and developed it. The magic mm -hmm. that they brought. That's magical to be able to change something. So I learned how to use that magic and how to be a more in spirit versus just a more on paper. Right. Most people are more is when they sign some papers and they think that makes them that. I'm a more without somebody's paper. Word. That's you what know, I got, worried about. Without the, yeah. paper, without the internet, without the, I got there without that. And I help other people do that. And we pay homage to the noble Jualis. We pay homage to that. And we show Moors how to be Moors way better than they do. Because I run across a lot of Moors who act like they for the movement, for the profit, for this. And then you see them breaking seven simple acts that he left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Seven simple acts like if so I already know whether they're going to be capable of being a part of mental magic because we got way more than seven. Uh -huh. It's way more than seven things you're going to have to abide by, dog, and way more than five principles you're going to have to deal with just to even reach certain levels that I know you want to reach. The same with masonry, the same with anything else. See, the, the, the trick with them, they might want to see how low you're willing to go for them. Word. Right. On our side, I want to see how high you're willing to go for us. It's the same thing. So you it is a certain thing as degrees and agrees because you learn more from your experience than anything. Nothing else teaches you but your experience. If you never had experience with reading, you'll never be able to teach somebody how to read. Word. Period. You have to gain the experience first. So when people hear me speaking this spiritual stuff and they think I just appeared out of nowhere, they didn't realize I was just waiting on my time to shine patiently. Mm -hmm. I wanted to help them. They didn't realize they were so evil at a point in time that maybe I was afraid to even talk to them because they judge everything they don't understand. And I already knew they wouldn't understand this. I already knew that. So I had to just, you know, I, I had to find some way to deliver it. And through time we did, you know, I told my wife, you know, before I even start doing it, man, uh, I didn't think I'd take it this serious. You know, I said, I'm probably going to do 10, 20 videos, probably going to be there for about two months. You know what I'm saying? Just open up their minds, get them a little bit, you know, and go back to my life. Because like I said, I do not want nor need anybody's problems. Word. There's so many men in this world that is like, I'm not like, like, I'm, I'm a, like I said, I grew up playing football all my life mm -hmm. and I walked away from it and people don't realize I went through 11 plus years every day pushing somebody, you know, getting that frustration out. And, you know, that was my relief. Yeah. I now have no relief. So I now have to pend on the spirit even more. Yeah. I now have to pend on my spirit. So it's just like I don't like being tested, even though I know I must be, you know, because I feel bad for what's going to happen to the people. The same with you. Mm -hmm. You know, you might think that just because you don't see what's going on, it's just because your eye might not be open enough. But just because you didn't physically do something when you know you was doing right by somebody and they did you dirty, mm -hmm. that pain that you're feeling is not your pain. Yeah. So just hold on to it. You know, I learned to embrace it versus just ready, being ready to get it out and just, I can't wait to hit somebody at 3 p.m., you know, after school. And like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I used to love it. And that's what, that's what separated me because certain dudes did it, you know, for different purposes. Their parents made them. They this, like, no. That was my therapy. I it was my life was so crazy that I needed therapy at seven years old. So I started playing football just so I can have a way to take my anger out on people. Because if not, I just end up fighting even more. Because every weekend I was in fights. Every weekend we were looking. So I what what dudes do on the internet nowadays? I did as a child. <laughs> yeah, Man, I did this shit as a child. Like. In, life like to where my life was really in jeopardy not my profile in jeopardy not i can hide behind my keyboard not oh you all way in a whole nother state so i'm gonna talk all kinds of shit make up all kinds of shit about you and like stop these that's how i know who's real and who's not because a real man ain't gonna never do nothing like that these yeah. dudes not, just like it's, it's like this i waited for my opportunity to shine just like they waited for their opportunity to shine you know, they finally getting it out. They didn't get it out early like we did. So now they got to get it out over the Internet. You know, they was looking for a safe place to be tough. <laughs> Nigga, we was right. tough where we had to be tough at. That's what makes us strong. We were yeah, tough. Yeah, when we had to be. yeah but I you get what you I'm, you can't. I'm not a little dude either. So it's like people are, are nice and, and respectful. You know, I'm mm -hmm. the Internet. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And they're talking 
all this trash and all this crazy mess that you hear online. So it's like, yeah, yeah. I feel like you said, it's it's online because they know offline there will be deadline, flat Word. lines. Thing. Word. They know that. They know that. They yeah. know this is the only place they can get away with it at. And and that's how you know what it, like put it like this. Let me like on a spiritual level, secretly, mm -hmm. it's our children, right? Mm -hmm. Every child seems like an angel to the parents and the people that come around, right? Mm -hmm. But we all know that certain children are smart enough to just wait till you turn your eyes. <laughs> wait till you turn your head and now they'll show you because some children know how to be good children even when you turn your head. You get what I'm saying? Even when nobody watching and some know how to just act good when mama come back and actually even act like you was the one that got in trouble because they don't know how to take responsibility for yeah. certain things. So the men that you see acting big and bad on Facebook, all tough, all crazy, they're the ones who like, okay, now I can do it. Now the coast is clear, it's safe. No <laughs> one can actually punch me for doing this. No one can actually chase me for doing this. No yeah. one can actually harm me for doing this. So that I look at it just like that, like you just like a little kid that couldn't wait to be bad. You know, you just like a little kid that just couldn't wait. And and I just, I mean, it's it's amazing how much, like I said, even with all the growth we had, I see certain people that brought their child with them. Uh -huh. I see some people that brought that that child that they was with them, just like I brought mine too. Like I said, it comes out throughout the times of the day, but mm -hmm. you still can see that I was a very mature child because even as a child, I was making sacrifices, you know, not caring. Like I chose to take the brunt early. Yeah. I could have had name brands. Instead, I wanted the, the lesser brands because I didn't want my mother having to pay for that. You know, she worked hard. Mm -hmm. I knew she had to take care of certain things. Yeah. And like my brothers and sisters uh -huh. are wanted it. So I felt like if all of us want it, that's going to break your pockets. Even though you're going to try to do it and you know what I'm saying? Even you're going to try to hold up this image, there's no need to. So I took yeah, a brunt that's and real. I, yeah, I wore all the fake stuff and I got talked about and guess what? I learned how to talk shit back. Yeah. I learned how to take everybody's shit and I dare the next person the same with Facebook. People uh -huh. used to come down videos talking so much shit that does not happen now. <laughs> oh boy, it, it don't matter how many thousands in there. Facebook got to send their little fake profiles and all of that in there because right. people just know how to respect us no matter how disrespectful they are. Yeah. And they're willing to learn. They uh, We've shown so much that it's just like, just humble yourself for a moment. Just be yeah. quiet, cool. Just sit back. You ain't got to show me love. Just don't show me no hate though. Yeah. You know? And I learned the same thing through the process and I learned that, you know, through time and that's why now all you see me with is our stuff on. You know, my brother Frank James created this hat in the James family. So we doing just like Moors. We met other Moors families, of course, and we start building our own community and our own things and doing things our own way. This shirt right here was created by us. Nation Noise, of course, we got multiple brands, multiple companies, multiple things going on. And, and, and I rather, you know, I learned growing up looking at Master P, not the music, but the spirit of him. It yeah. didn't matter if he was tacky or not. It was no limit gear that he had on. Yeah. You know, so even if my stuff don't be matching, it's all mine. Uh -huh. That's what makes it what it like. That's that's what I love most about it. Not that everybody has it because everybody don't. I don't yeah. want nothing everybody have. I want <laughs> something that we created out of love. Yeah. Pure love. And that's where the magic is born within the clothing, within the symbols. Like it's really truthful because I would never want to leave something to my children like what's been left for our children where there's no spirit involved. So that because that's where the real disconnect come in when we read these books. These yeah. books should be read to us instead of us trying to read the book. Yeah. Magic works in different ways. You know, when we go to these teachers, these teachers are supposed to be ready. Like if you go to China right now, you can easily find some monks that have this type of wisdom. They might not know all of this stuff about the world. I'm not going to lie. Our ancestors took it up a notch with us, but I'm not going to say that they can't get your spirit right. You get what I'm saying? I'm not a hater. Yeah. By far. Spirits are placed everywhere. So I'm glad to just be a part of that type of blood, period. Right. You know, in the midst of all this chaos, I know how to keep my peace. I know how to stay out of drama. I know how to even even deflect from the drama that comes my way. It doesn't even it doesn't throw me off course at all. So just through that, you start realizing we got all of those type of things here. A lot of the spiritual brothers that are truly spiritual, we getting a lot of them prepared now. And some of them are still scared. They don't know why they scared, though, because they were some of the first brothers killed when them people got here 
on them ships. I don't care what color and skin complexion it was. They was all colors because your own brother be jealous of you if you know something he don't know. Word. Your own brother will kill you. Even if you sharing it with him, they want all of it. <laughs> they want all of it. So even if you giving them everything, sometimes that's still not enough. They feel like you still holding some back. That's because that's them. They putting their energy off on you. Uh -huh. You get what I'm saying? So there was nothing that we could really do past that point. But this is why they are in fear because they return and people are even more rowdier than when we was getting hung for real. When we mm -hmm. was getting burned for real, they was burning us and laughing at us like, ha, 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 how your magic working now? Ha, right. ha, ha. But what they didn't get was we got that last laugh, though. Mm -hmm. Imagine killing something and it, it, it just wakes up again. Imagine oh, actually yeah. killing something and this nigga pop back up with a very similar body, but not the same. Like, what the hell? And, and, and it's something that reminds you of this person. You know, we all have them people that we walk across in life and something clicks inside. Mm -hmm. You might never knew this person, but you're like, hey, you look like so-and-so. Hey, yeah. you look like so-and-so. See, we go off the looks. I started learning to open up every part that the creator gave me. I can go off the sense. Mm -hmm. I can by you and hey you feel like so and so someone from an ancient time because mm -hmm. I remember them I've hugged them I hugged all my ancestors when I met them I want to hug all my people here mm -hmm. all the people that's actually here I'm not going to be satisfied until the day I can we can stand in the damn circle and I can just hug everybody and then right. we can all just hug each other everybody we going to circle just going we just group hug and it's, it's going to spiritually create some, I'm not going to tell everybody about our rituals and everything, but just know that I look forward to simple things. I'm not looking forward to balling. I did that. I'm not looking forward to, to the, you know what I'm saying? Grind and grind. We did all that. I'm looking forward to doing something that I never planned on doing, never did before. I don't see nobody else doing it. That's my lane. That's, That's how I know it's my lane because nobody else doing it. So how 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 could this be your lane? And I know when there's traffic in there. See, if we riding and swerving, see right now we 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 Houston swerving. You know what I'm saying? We swerving like we down in Dallas or something. You get what I'm saying? We swerving, and some people trying to speed through our lanes when we trying to swerve. Uh -huh. We're not in no ruts. You know? Yeah. We got out. We got. Swerve on, you know, we chilling. We and some people trying to speed, some people don't want to drive at all. They just so so we, we go through these things, but man, I'm just I can honestly say I'm glad to be forward, I'm glad to be here again. Like I can't explain nor express how happy I am just to be again. Like I don't have to explain nothing to any of these little boys out here thinking that their physical age means anything to who they're actually talking to. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't I don't I don't take nobody. See, they created that. So if they create the rules to the game, then, of course. You get my drift. Mm -hmm. If they create the octagon for you and they say, OK, when you are this age, you're capable of doing this or not. OK, when you're this age, you should be doing this. See, if they create our age brackets, mm -hmm. we don't learn our true age brackets and we don't learn our true age brackets who and what we truly are, then guess what? You got a lot of old folks physically thinking they can really tell you what to do. Thinking that they really know more, thinking that I've been here longer or this, this is, what if that was reversed? What if them thinking that they've been here for 60 years? Okay, I've been here for 60 million. Word. Who's, you know what I'm saying? What if? Now, I'm, not, I'm not saying I gotta even throw a number on it cause I ain't even done. You get my drift, so I don't even gotta play that game. Yeah. Let's really see who's the more mature being. Let's really see who really has it together. Let's really see who's really here for who. Because you'll notice it's not the young people hating on us. It's the generations before us. Word. It's the generations that came before us because there's still a little jealousy left. There's still a little envy left. They're still, it's, it's like this. Even, I'm, I'm finna say, not even with consciousness because it's really magical. Even for the people that don't even study none of this magical stuff, let me tell you, you still got grandmas right now trying to outdo the damn granddaughter, trying to dress like the granddaughter, yeah. not knowing that what we're missing over here is the presence of age, is that presence of wisdom, is that presence of infinity. If I go to China, I can easily find a martial arts teacher who got discipline. 
He didn't learn martial arts running around kicking everybody ass. Mm -hmm. Like we learn knowledge so we can come to Facebook and talk shit. Oh, I got the most knowledge. Oh, I know the most. I don't even have to say that because it's a reality for us. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's not because I feel like I have the most. I'm just saying if we're connected to the ancestors and they giving us something new every day and you still stuck on the same stuff you've been studying for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, damn it. You that if your car been sitting in park for 20 minutes and you act like you went to the store and came back, that doesn't make it a reality just because you tell me that your car still been in park. Uh huh. You still sitting there. We actually been around the world. So it's not about saying we have the most. It's about just giving it and delivering it to our people and trusting that our ancestors is going to give us more where that came from. Because people have been stealing from us for over three years. Now, I, I, I ask you, this is how I judge the strength of a company. If someone was to steal from certain companies for three years plus, nine times out of ten, they might go out of business. Mm -hmm. you get my yeah. We got more enough that people have been able to steal from us for three plus years. And we just started a whole new season of our private courses. We just started a whole new season with a whole new shebang and all every new, all everything, everything. Like they're still giving it to us. They're still, it's, it's, it's unexplainable. Simple. It's just like, it's just like experience it. Like I'm enjoying the experience and I love that other people are enjoying it. And I love that other people are hating it. I love it. Like that lets me know that it's powerful. Because if people were only showing love, then you're going to find out who those haters are when your popularity disappears. If everybody's showing hate, you're going to find out who really love you by them few people that really hit you up and won't play and, and feed into the negativity. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Two sides to that. So I like that the fact that we started low and we got to this point and never expected it, never cared to, and we never lost ourselves. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I never expected to raise over 30,000 plus five people. Like we actually been sharing that with the people, literally. Like I, we've been putting in the work long before ever saying anything. And the only people that knows it are those people we put in the work with. We never chose to do it publicly because we have a real private life. And the point of a private life is to keep it what? Private. Because uh -huh. the moment you put your private life on public social media, is it still private? Nope. See, so people don't even know how to follow rules to things they assume they know about because it's spiritual. It's not physical. Everything that they're doing is physical. And that's what they wanted us to do. Uh, secretly, they got us. They, they turned us out. You know, like I'm going to say this, like, think about it like this. And by turned us out, I'm saying I'm speaking to your brain, so to speak. They uh -huh. turned our brain out to the point where like just like a woman, if a woman gets around the wrong group of men. See, a strong group of men is going to build that woman up and make her so protective of herself that she will never become something else, you know, but we lack that type of leadership over her, unlike the other countries and nations that do. And it's only because the people who really know it choose to still indulge in certain things are scared. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, we'll choose to run a train on her versus being the train that's pushing her or guiding her wherever she needs to be, you know, and being the protector of her and and. And having like there, there's very rare that you find a group of 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 men with like a female friend to where she didn't have sexual relations with one of those men in the group or at least multiple. Or you know, yeah. but we need to get that back because you can find that in any other culture. There are people that people this is their literal job just to be there for people. And I felt like our people was missing just that. So that's what that was my reason for delivering that and doing just that. And a lot of these people reached out to us. They thanked us. Celebrities hit us up. Celebrities learned from us. We influenced a lot of celebrities. The artwork, the albums, the music has changed. And it's been a silent shift. It has been what it has supposed to be. It's, as they say, it will not be televised. It's going to come through the souls of those who really have it in them. And it's going to take someone who has unlocked DNA to unlock DNA because someone has to have a key. Someone. <coughs> The reason why so many people are spitting so much truth on Facebook, yet we still the same place we was 10 years ago on Facebook as a people is because no one is actually woke that's doing it. You have to wake yourself up first before you can actually wake someone else up. That's why we've been capable of waking up a million plus and we really don't care what they do. Some people finally might wake one person up and then they make them a slave. 
And this is what a lot of people did when we taught them that science back then, when we taught them our magic back then. Once you learn to unlock someone's mind, you realize, damn, you either can teach them how to control it or you can just control it for them. So that's what I mean by they turned us out. We trusted them with our minds by us going to their schools at a very young age. And now they turned us out to where we brought our mind to our physical and we put our physical on the inside to where we hide all the negative stuff we really do. But we bring out all of the things that we really not doing positively, but we just want to at least make it appear we're living a good life versus actually just living a good life. As I say, when you go on the Internet, all you can do is speak your mind. Yet we think this is a place to post money. Cars, clothes, hoes, jewelry, everything physical and really, no, that has nothing to do with your mind. That has something to do with your ego, your insecurity, and all of those other things, possible downfall. I'm not saying you can't never do nothing like that. I'm saying don't act like you didn't have some intentions hiding behind them intentions that you claim wasn't intentions. Word. Don't act like that because real people can see it. That's how you find out your eye is open, by not being sleep to the games that you see your people playing and really getting the help that they need and realizing the hardest thing to the problem is admitting that you have a problem. So if you got an ego, you got pride, you got insecurities, we, we don't have to talk down on them. We have to find out how to reach them. Simple. We need to spend that time and that takes time because you don't know what happened or why they don't trust nobody. But the secret is this to me. I've had people try to kill me. I've had people try to destroy my family. I've had people come after me. I've had people watch me. I've had people do all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. I've had brothers on the internet try to talk bad. I've had brothers on the internet who gracefully learn from me. I let them in my circles. I let them in my family. I uh, help them create schools. I help them build curriculums. I help them find the things out that they start finding out, believe it or not, because they had pieces to it. But we put to pieces of the puzzle together. Because yeah. that's how spirituality works. Once they finally get what they need from you, then they want to act like they never needed you, so to speak. But the truth was all along, I never needed them. I just wanted to build a brotherhood just like I'm doing with you. I don't need you. You don't need me, but that's not a bad thing. Word. That's not a bad thing. Yeah. That's it's a good that's to Yeah, in order for us to build, we must be independent and dependent on something. Yeah. We must be. So we can both pend on our creator and not need each other, but that don't mean we got to be separate. We still can build. As you say, like, my views are not your views, but we still can build. Mm -hmm. It doesn't represent everything you got and vice versa. What people don't get is the same type of uh, disclaimer should be placed up when people are gossiping, you know? When people are choosing to gossip, you know, hey, th this is this person's views, but that doesn't mean it's, you know, it doesn't reflect this or it doesn't, that is that is being honest, that is being truthful, that is protecting yourself while still trying to help somebody because if you helping me means you got to drop your guard, I shouldn't be around you. Word. You get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I'm not saying you should have your guard up around me. What I'm saying is I'm going to put my back to you, you put your back to me, and if somebody come from this angle, I'm going to hit them. If somebody right. come from that angle, you're going to hit them for me. I want to be able to trust you through this process. Word. That's all I'm saying. Our guard is up because we can't never drop it, but that don't mean we got to have it up towards each other. Word. Towards each other. I ain't going to never hate nothing. I'm, I'm going to help you build, and just because you might not know what I know, see, that's how I know I know it. I'm going to make sure you know it. I'm not going to treat you a certain way once I know what you do know or don't know because Word. certain people treat me a certain way because they I know something, but the crazy thing is I never really let them into what I know and some of them start to feel insulted and violated when I do that. But the thing is, I'm not holding nothing back. I'm giving them my soul and spirit every time. But that shows me that they hiding something. Yeah. You know, what is that agitating you? What are you so impatient about? Right. What's right. really going on? You know what I'm saying? Some people only got one boom, one bang. You know, it's like a fighter. Some some fighters <laughs> only got one good punch, you know. They left might be a little weak, but they right jab, you know, boom. And some people got combos. Some people got uppercuts. Some people, you just better hope you don't get in the ring with them, period. They can hit you from any angle, Word. from any angle, period. Word. And it's just, it's just about being seasoned, man. And, 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 and I'm very seasoned when it comes to the thing I talk about. And I choose to take it to the level where the person is already at versus, versus trying to even act like something. Every single person 
I have to prove my magic and my knowledge to by being able to come down to their level or up to their level. Because some people, let me tell you this, this is how you know knowledge ain't got nothing to do with levels. Because some people think when they get knowledge, they smart or they positive or they, or they better now. Or they really believe that holding knowledge means that, no, you're saved or something or you're good or you're safe. or No, it doesn't. There are certain people that don't know half of what I know, but they are so much more disciplined than I am. Yeah. They know how to take criticism and drama better than I can. So clearly their soul and spirit is more seasoned than mine. So although they might not know all the knowledge I have, how we exchange is they show me how to be more humble and loving and kind. And I showed them how they were capable of doing it from the first place and what's using them. I can show them all these magical things. I can take them through it. Like, do you know why you that way? And that's where that bond really joins that. They gave me something that only they had because only you can control yourself to a certain level. Only right. everybody has a different amount of control. So they give me something that's unique and special to them that they brought out their DNA. And I give them something that's because since I'm a hothead, damn it, I can't I can't act like, you know, I'm some goody two shoes. Because like I said, if if we was to be like the same lectures that I did on Facebook, if them same thousands of people who was around me in person and they said more than half of the things they said on Facebook, <laughs> I would have been head dog. It, the, the, you get what I'm saying? Like in the middle of the presentation and still got back to presenting. You know what I'm saying? Like it just, it would have so, I don't, but some people, I know some people, if, if, if they were to have the same type of information, they would be able to take it even better than I can. Yeah. You know? So I'm willing and, and, and like I said, I know what real knowledge and what real spirituality and what these things truly are. So I help people that think they down really understand you're not as down as you think you are. And we also help the people that think they somebody's and they up. You're not as up as you think you are. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't be doing so much dirt. That lets me know you low. Word. Because most people who do good things, you just want what? Space. There's mm -hmm. a secret reason for that. You just want space. There's a secret, sacred reason for that and we teach about all of these things that you can't get nowhere else and we encourage our brothers and sisters that come through us to create books to create something of they see it's not it's so much that that's why i get mad when people steal from me i encourage you if you come through and you support us and you help us help the family i'm gonna help you create some of your own through this it doesn't stop here we got multiple languages being developed through ours, not just mine. Mine is just showing you how it's developed, period, and how we did it, period. But it's just, I mean, it's so much to offer, man. And that's all we're doing, man. We're just a starting place to build. We are a foundation and a building block to build on. We're not the top. We're not the capstone at the top. We're just a, a brick at the bottom that's going to help other bricks get to the top. And sooner or later, it's going to look like what it used to look like here. That's what's up. Uh, you just cut off. Okay, that's what's up. I appreciate that, man. Look at the video tripping again, huh? Yeah. Hey, on that note, though, we're going to have to run this back another day. Oh, that's good. We can pick up that good anytime, man. We, this is an intro. I ain't real kidding. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, for real. And um, for the people Look, You see, they're playing with, my video. They playing with the audio anyway, in the video anyway. Yeah, I think, yeah, the video's out, yep. So um, the links are in the description. I already got them in there. You can go in there, um, check out the websites for Mental Magic. Uh, you said it's on Facebook. So yeah, yeah, just go in there. I think the email's in the description too. And um, I mean, you heard what you said, man. Are you, we can reschedule something else. I'm gonna call you because, like I said, man, yeah. it's so much that we it, it it has to be many parts to this. I want to see your platform build just like all the other brothers that we help build. We ain't been doing nothing but building all our brothers' platforms up, and we want to keep doing that. We don't want to stop doing that. We want to keep moving forward with everything we're doing. We want to see you shine. We want to see you grow. We want to see you learn. We want to see you expand. You don't have to believe what we believe. It's just love, man. Word, That's likewise. It. Likewise. All the people that we help build throughout our life, all the people that we've been spending with and Man, come on, man. It ain't nothing to help each other now. It's the least we can do for each other. So I look forward to it. All and right. thank you to everybody that was in the video, too, for whoever was watching, man. Thank you. Thank you for spending time with us. Definitely. Definitely. Everybody share this. Um, like, subscribe. Um, go to the links that's in the description. 
check out mental magic i'm going to check it out myself i appreciate the opportunity to build with you um much blessings love to you and your family all right you still there yeah yeah no I'm, they uh they messing with my they kind of keeps freezing it on my end i don't know right. if you can hear yeah. me but yeah man, peace love One more to the family out there all oh, that good stuff oh. all right so yeah we're gonna go ahead and, and end it for the night everybody thanks for tuning in thanks for coming on here frank uh, no problem bro enjoy your family i'm about to do the same all right peace same to you peace. all right everybody we out <laughs>